Hi-Fi Mansundara used to be priced at $500, which was an okay deal back then. Later, they slashed its price to $350, which made it a really great value purchase, considering its outstanding audio quality and the state of the market back then. They made it even better with a new silent revision. And now its price has dropped to just $300, which sounds just crazy. Let's take a closer look at it. Sundara is an open back full-size planar magnetic over-ear headphone from Hyphaman. Its first revision was released in 2017. The latest version features Hyphaman's Neo Super Nano Diaphragm, which is supposed to result in a faster and more detailed response. As far as I'm aware, neither the original nor the new revision feature Hyphaman's Stealth Magnets technology, which is a little weird knowing that Hyphaman is stepping down their technology to more budget-oriented products, just like HE400SE, which can be bought for around $109, which features the Stealth Magnets technology, but for some reason Sundara does not. On the positive note, it's built extremely well. It's made almost entirely out of metal parts, including the yokes, the suspension strap, the ear caps and the ear covers. They're all made of metal, there's no give to them. It's just really solid feeling, both on your head and in hands. Also, it looks pretty nice, I like the way it looks. It's pretty clean and simple, in all black, besides some silver accents here and there. It has dual 3.5mm connectors, which can take both single-ended and balanced connections. The cable that it comes with is not that weird transparent one, which people found really annoying. It's just an acceptable black rubberized dual 3.5mm to single 3.5mm single-ended cable. I did not find any problems with it, like any issues with the connectors or its flexibility. For a stock cable, it's just fine. You also get an adapter to a quarter inch. In terms of the comfort, it can be hit or miss for some of you. It does have great hybrid pads made out of three different materials, polyester that touches your ear, then perforated pleather on the inside and solid non-perforated pleather on the outside. It's made for both the tuning and the comfort side of things. Their inner diameter though is rather small, likely to be too small for many ears. For example, I don't have particularly large ears, but still, the pads touch my ear from the inside. It's not the greatest feeling in the world. Also, they can get a little toasty inside after some time. It's not terrible, they just accumulate a little bit of warmth after a longer time. Now the headband. It's the hybrid type of deal, which Sundara is known from. It has a suspension strap, which helps eliminate some hotspots on top of your head, but unfortunately it doesn't swivel at all. Moreover, the adjustment is not too great. It leaves scratches in the painting after you adjust it like two times. It's not the greatest type of adjustment, and also it doesn't feel too nice when you adjust it. There is quite a bit of clamp force, which helps to distribute the weight more evenly, instead of making it all hang from the top of your head. <coughs> Addition excess. Another positive thing about its comfort is the weight. It weighs only 372 grams, which is really not a lot, especially for a planar with full metal chassis. Okay, that's great and all that, but how does it sound like? Tonally wise, it's balanced and neutral in a good way. It's definitely not boring sounding. The bass is definitely present, but not artificially boosted. There's a good sub bass extension with a slope downwards going from 50 ish hertz, but you can still hear 20 hertz. It's there. I prefer the bass being deep rather than artificially boosted without extending far in the sub bass territory. Sundara definitely delivers in terms of that, and I really like it. The mids are a bit above the target and the highs are a little below it, which in return results not only in the lack of sibilance, but also leans slightly on the warmer side. Sound characteristics. It has great, wide and decently accurate soundstage, which is unheard of at this price. It puts you rather in front of the sound source and surrounds you with it. It doesn't sound disconnected though, and it's also not extremely wide like some higher end headphones, but the way it goes around soundstage is just well, well done. It doesn't sound as open as Hyphaman's bigger planars, but it's still pretty pleasantly wide. When a track wants to be intimate, it can get a little bit closer to you. And when it wants to be a bit farther apart from you, this headphone can definitely get a bit wider to accommodate that. Sundara has a great dynamic range, with a strong punch or slam in a bass and mids that make it enjoyable to listen to. It's one of the things where this headphone especially pecks above its leg. It's also one of my favorite aspects of it. 
Without it, I believe it would be much more boring sounding. Sound separation is at a decent level. Different sounds aren't getting blended in with each other, which leads to a clean and pleasant presentation. At the same time, it's not as good as something like an Edition XS, about which you can find a video in the top right corner. With Sundara, you can't differentiate all the instruments in the mix as easily. You can absolutely still tell that there are drums, strings and all that. It just doesn't scream at you with the sound separation like some other headphones do. I wouldn't quite consider it a bad thing, rather a part of its characteristics. Detail Retrieval That's another area where it truly shines. The level of detail, especially micro detail, is impeccable. This headphone doesn't sound too bright, as you could previously see on the frequency response graph. So that's not where the detail comes from. And because of that, it doesn't give you a forced sense of detail. It all sounds really naturally and pleasant to your ear. And the more you listen to the tracks you're used to hearing, the more micro detail you notice. That's quite an amazing experience, because it doesn't shout at you with the detail. You get to dig deeper and deeper in the song, to finally notice all the textures, perhaps even errors of the recording. It's simply done better than on most, even more expensive, currently available headphones. Fast Transients Sundara is a really fast sounding headphone. It doesn't lack in the speed department at all. The decay is also above average. All that, in the combination with great dynamics, makes for a really fun and kind of unique audio presentation. So in terms of that, you will not be disappointed. And lastly, vocals. Both male and female vocals sounded neither boring nor energetic, but definitely not dull. I would call it a typical performance in this category. It gives all vocals a slightly warmer tint to them, but we are talking really slightly. It's not an inherently warm or thick sounding headphone in the vocals, cause it doesn't have a lot of lower frequencies to do so. They sound rather clean, neutral, and because of the great sound stage, they can also sound more farther apart from you or closer, which depends on the way the song wants it to be presented. Conclusion Hyphen Sundara presents an amazing value proposition in the current open back planar magnetic headphone market, considering that you can get an improved version which performs exceptionally well for $300, it's a steal.